The year was 1997. The Florida Marlins had won the World Series. Leonardo DiCaprio had declared himself the king of the world, and fans of the 1960s series Lost in Space were very sad to find out this was not the future they had imagined. But somewhere off in the town of Sunnydale, California, at the local high school, children were engaged in a bitter political battle to be elected as the sophomore class president. Now, come with us, come along, friends, to the town of Sunnydale, California, where demons and vampires and the forces of darkness reign and all of the children either know it or don't know about it. It's a little split. You know, some people are in denial, but let us find out if these characters tonight understand the dangers at hand. Now we find ourselves in the Sunnydale lunchroom where the local Salisbury steak has been on display for weeks. People are eating it because it's high school. You eat the food that you're given. It's what you do. You just eat it already. But now let us meet the characters that we are about to discover in this lunchroom on this fateful Tuesday afternoon. Starting with you. With me. Mm. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Uh, I'm Amir Chowden. Uh, you might remember me as the freshman class president <laughs> last year. And uh, just all around cool guy. Uh, hobbies are playing guitar, chilling out, uh, and I have no dark secrets whatsoever. Probably my biggest dark secret is I'm looking forward to Armageddon, which is coming out next year. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for me. I don't actually recall Amir being class president of the freshman class because I just transferred here. I'm Luna Nova. I transferred from a private school in Santa Barbara called the Infinity Academy because things started to get kind of weird in this town. And my mom naturally gravitates towards places where there's lots of weird sort of supernatural occurrences. Mm. So she just felt like Sunnydale would be the right fit for my talents so to speak, but I also have to pretend like I don't know that the entire town is going to be consumed by demons, so I'm just struggling to fit in in this high school, and Amir seemed very welcoming, so just sort of latched on, trying to act like I'm normal. Ah, mm, that's all right. Looks like, looks like Amir at least has one vote in the class president election. <laughs> now, we move on. Hi everyone, I'm Betty Pastors. I too am a transfer, so it's so nice to meet you and kind of meet on the same footing. That's really nice. Um, weird things seem to happen around me. Um, I moved to a lot of schools, and so I'm just really hoping that being here is gonna be a great opportunity to make some new awesome friends. And I actually have an interest in student body government as well because I'm just hoping that if I can get in on the ground floor, maybe some of this crazy stuff will stop happening around me. Mm -hmm. Good wishes, good wishes, though your wishes in Sunnydale do not always come true, no. Now, the final student that will guide us through the night. Hey guys, Casey, uh, you can call me Casey. Uh, listen, I'm, a varsity volleyball, basketball, swimming, and soccer player, mainly because every year before regionals, most of the team gets killed. Uh, I'm hoping that whoever's next student body president can do some protection of that. And I have a little bit of faith that you know how to fight some demons what? based what? on your appearance right now. So what? you've got my vote. Mm. It's split. It's split and at the end of the night, you, you the spectators will have to decide whether or not the class body president will be elected, unless of course they get killed by the end of the evening. Now you're sitting there in the lunchroom, everybody's snacking about, having their food, and now is anybody, do you have your food yet or would you like to go and hit the buffet line? I, I have been running around all day myself. I wouldn't mind grabbing a, a really quick bite. <laughs> mm, Amir approaches the lunch line, man of the people. Yes. Man of the Salisbury steak of the tater tots, as it was today. Yeah. You find yourself in the line, and you find a shrimpy, tiny little boy. Doesn't speak much. He's sitting there getting his scoops. Try to get his vote, perhaps. Why not? Every vote counts. Hey, uh, what are you, what are you getting for lunch there? Uh, I, 
Are you talking to me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I am talking to you. How's it going? I'm a mirror I'm running for uh, class president again. Again, I was <laughs> freshman class president, so it only makes sense that uh, I would be sophomore class president. And uh, Of course, you want something from me. No one ever just talks to me. Oh, I don't want anything from you. I want to give something to you. I want to be able to serve you as the class president. Mm. Well, what did you do for me lately? Uh, well, last year when I was freshman class president, uh, I got to decide the... Uh, the, the pre-prom school dance theme, which was a pretty big deal, huh? That's pretty fun. I'm a sophomore, I didn't get to go to prom. Oh, well, that's, this year maybe you'll be able to. <laughs> so anyhow, do you mind if I grab you like a Jello cup or uh, maybe a breakfast burrito or something? I mean, I'm not one to turn down free food. <laughs> you all reach towards the food, but the Jello looks a little mm-mm-mm today. Because it is jello. But on top of the jello is a strange and webby slash goopy substance. You reach in, you don't expect, ooh, all of a sudden it's in your fingertips. And then it seems as though dripping from the top of the little heat spot of the lunch room thing, you know the thing, mm -hmm. dripping down onto your hand is something now, do you wash your hands? Do you leave? Do you try to take a look at what's underneath? I'm gonna go wash my hands. <laughs> I don't know what everyone else is doing, but this is, I can't shake hands like this. Mm. So I'm gonna wash my hands. I'll be back. All right, Amir takes off. Well, I always come prepared, so I actually have some wet naps in my bag. So if anyone wants one, I can help, help someone out. I mean, I, this is exactly why I always bring my lunch from home, but Better safe than sorry. Ah, uh, and then they wash their hands, getting ready. Mm hmm good. Are you all in the lunch line right now? Where, mm -hmm. where are you all situated in this lunch room, Tishnari? I'm near the spaghetti. I got a carbo load. Mm hmm On top of the spaghetti as well is also that strange, webby, gooey fluid. I reach out. I s test its viscosity. Mm. Now, no. it's supposed to be a meatball spaghetti, but in the spaghetti, you now you you're a meat eater, are you? Mm -hmm. Or you pick them out, so you eat the meatballs. All right. Now, in the meatballs, these don't quite look like meatballs. Do you want to inspect what these meatballs are? Sure. Mm. Oh, good. Because you know what? You do. And in that moment, in your hand, you find some strange texture, for it's not a meatball, but a tiny little egg. A little egg. What's that? It's not, this is an egg spaghetti. It crushes in your hands when the egg cracks open, and within it is a very small and tiny praying mantis demon. It leaps onto your hand and leaps away all across onto the floor. Did y'all see that? I just got back from washing my hands uh, because hygiene is key. What did I miss? A praying man, like a little bug thing. It just like ran right by you, right in front of your feet. A little praying mantis ran by me. I, I, I don't know. It was like in a meatball. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it probably is just some kind of infestation. It's not a demon, because demons aren't real. <laughs> They're right. not real, Definitely so stop asking about them. <laughs> I, I don't, I think maybe you're overworking yourself. How many sports teams did you say you were on again? Like seven. But, okay, so I, did you eat a banana and like flush out your lactic acid recently? No, I'm a little short on potassium, but that's not what this is about. I swear, guys, here, look, I'm gonna smash another one. It opens again and it skitters across. Oh! You okay. can't deny that. You saw that. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So it was like a really overgrown bug. I don't think that high school cafeterias are absolutely known for being the most sanitary of establishments. Excuse me, students. All right. <laughs> Suddenly, the principal comes. <laughs> Snyder. Yeah, principal Snyder. Snyder. Principal Snyder. A new Principal Snyder. The, new, the, hey, freshly, Snyder. the freshly anointed Principal Snyder is coming now. 
now. Mm. Oh. Mm. Sorry. That's me. That's not Snyder. But Snyder comes in. We'll see how this goes. <clears throat> Students. Lunchroom is closed for the day. Something has been detected. Some sort of food poisoning. A meat that was oversold was sent to the school by mistake when it was meant to be sent to the local double meat palace factory. But now, no, no, no. We need everyone to make their way back to there. As Snyder is speaking, the rest of the meatballs all reveal themselves to be eggs. There are 50 of them. And they, they crack open. It's undeniable. And they start skittering around the lunchroom willy-nilly, spitting venom and hissing and making noises. And they're all tiny, little, about the size of, like, uh, somewhat big spider. Uh, okay, everyone hey, get behind should... me. <laughs> okay. I, I think we should all get on a table so we can jump on them and smash them. Or just immediately escape whatever is happening at this moment. But if you want to stand in the front on the table, I'm down. A, 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 a good leader listens to good ideas, and so let's get on the table. That's a great idea. And sometimes good ideas come from great leaders, so. Oh, yeah, well, that's, that's a good I idea mean, to listen to the good ideas. I mean, so. isn't that funny? We're so so that's, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's really, hmm, that is something. Can we just, just get up on the table? Get up on a table. Okay, all right, <laughs> all right. Wow. The room is filled with these things. They're all crawling around They are the indeed. Floor. All right, and I have some things to award. Now, if you have been out oh. there doing our, our incentivizing, thank you so much. If I would go over that quickly with you right now while we take this moment to wonder what's happening with all of these tiny little mantis eyes, which I believe is the correct term. Now, if you would like to help the game, which I would hope you would, for $10, you may get an armed stake that will be distributed to the players, a one-use stake used for vampires. Currently, there are no vampires as day is out, but we are at a hellmouth. The sun sets every day, as far as I've ever seen, so that may happen. For $25, you may increase the brooding points of a player, and there have been two brooding point increases for you, Luna. Great. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. And it's very, and you should be clear upon your demeanor. And then it affects your, your gameplay as well. For $50, you may create a demon of your own design to throw into this mix. Currently, there are demons skittering about to spawn of the She Mantis. Now, you may know that She Mantis herself was destroyed not but a few months ago, but now her spawn, which was left underneath a table, seems to have found its way back into the school. And Buffy and her friends are off on their own gallivant doing their thing, having other bigger problems, but there are problems big and small, and you will help us destroy them. Now, have there been, there have been new demons created. Um, Mataldo, oh, Ma Mataldo, who I'm used to calling him that. I need to know who these demons are. Uh, you can create the demons yourself. Now, oh, Casey, you have also a brooding point. Okay. You have one brooding point as well. All right, now if you want to, ooh, for 250, that's quite a price, that's quite a peach right there. That is, um, is that a strange way to say that? Uh, you may summon a lurky, brooding vampire boyfriend, and if we hit our fundraising goal tonight, <laughs> and, you, and that everybody needs one. <laughs> Everyone needs one. We all could use one. If we hit our goal, our fundraising goal of $500, the hell mouth will open. And if we hit our fundraising goal of $1,000, the Scooby Gang will show up to help us fight whatever demons are coming our way. How spectacular. We could use them in this moment right now. I help them look to them in moments of sadness. All right, now there are two stakes. Two stakes to be given out. Now, the first stake goes to you, Betty Pastures. Hey. Mm. <laughs> And then the second stake goes to also Betty Pastures. Oh! <laughs> Lovely. All right. All right. That's everything for now. The new demons we will find out shortly once I get my little sheet for we have a new system. Uh, clicky, 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 clicky. Great. All right. Where were we? We're in the lunchroom. 
we're on, on a table. table. All right, we're, we're all, everyone's on top of a table? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. We're all standing behind a mirror. Yes. 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 yes, until we figure out what's going on. Mm-hmm. And now, <laughs> in that moment, the Principal Snyder was so terrified that he sprang out of the room himself. And he barred the doors. He barred the doors Close. because he was afraid for himself. And all of the lunch people, they barred the lunchroom. But now, all of you and the rest of the student body that was left, you know, the end of lunch lurkers, the people who don't want to get back to their classrooms, usually there's about 20 kids. Now they have all followed your lead. Everyone is atop the tables right now, for the grounds are too dangerous. Now would you like to fight them? Yeah. Yeah. Or would you like to flee and escape? No, I'm gonna burn the ground. Mm. Nice. Excellent. I'm gonna use uh, one mana point to use dark fire. So I roll two d20s and I deal the combination of half of those. <laughs> Excellent. So 12, so six, and six, so nine. Nine. Nine damage. All right. So nine damage yeah. is dealt to, there are 20 total of these little buggers right. skittering around. And 10 of them, which are the closest, are hit. All right. Now, I don't know if any of you might know how to, ah, oh, lovely, 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 lovely. All right. So I just create these myself? All right, excellent. <laughs> well. Goody, goody for you. Now, there are special ways that you can harm these creatures. Now, there's only one place you can go to figure that out unless you already have it inside of you. Now, they are the she mantis. She mantis spawn. Now, if you don't know much about praying mantis eye, know that there are ways to encumber them. One of them is fire, because fire mostly kills all. And yes, you have killed 10 of them. There are now just 10 remaining. 10 remaining skittering about the floor. Mm. All right. Mm. <laughs> ah, I think I can interpret what that means. All right. Okay, now, well, that was crazy. Does anyone else have any fire abilities that we're just kind of hiding up our sleeves that we could use? Or like knowledge of what to do from their history and time they spent around demons? I don't know why you would look at me about time spent around demons. I don't. You come I'm to not. school covered in blood. You have blood all over your what? body. Yeah, and it's clothing. It, like, um, pretty <laughs> intense. Like, it, did you even try? I, I, life gives you lemons. Sometimes taking the form of blood spatter, you make lemonade, and then you come to school with a fun outfit that matches your skirt. And um, I don't know why we're wasting time on how how blood got on me. Um. You know, I have eaten the blood of my kin. <coughs> you all saw that, right? Everyone, oh, everyone, all everyone the confirmed. Shit. Everyone saw it. Everyone great, saw it. great. Confirmed. Everyone saw it. Mm. It's yeah. hay fever. <laughs> right. Well, we should get to the nurse's office uh, after we get rid of this. Anyway, bug sitch. I do not know how to kill these bugs. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> I. Uh, uh, we could step on them, perhaps? Well, we have the, we probably have trays, lunch trays. We do have lunch mm. trays. So, we could... Be resourceful. Oh, yeah. we could somehow find a way to strap into our feet and stomp across the, like, snowshoeing, but on top of little mantises. I have a belt, I have a tie that would cover two feet of Great. said trays. Yeah, absolutely. I'm willing to donate two of those articles of my clothing. Um... I got nothing. All right, I'm gonna jump off the top uh, with the tray in my hand, and then as if I was jumping off the top of a, a slalom and snowboarding, and just slide it right under my feet and land on the bugs. Perfect. Mm, good cool. move. Roll. Four. Four. So it's it's a great wind up. <laughs> <laughs> Coming down, it's one you you land a little too topsy turvy on the edge of one of the chairs, the sitting chairs, mm-hmm. and you topple onto the ground in full array of all of the skittering little praying mantises, and they're coming right for you. I'll hop down with my trays that I fashioned out of my H&M tie and my Banana Republic belt, 
Okay. Okay. Mm. That is an 18. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's, oh, it is amazing. <laughs> and, every, and everyone notices very instantly the, the fashion choices that you're making. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great. Mm. No, instantly. Now you hop down to try to, and now you've crushed in as they're skittering on her. Yes. Mm. Thanks, dude. That was really sweet. Well, you took the first plunge. I, you know. I just want everyone to know that was my idea. It's a surprisingly I, good plan. <laughs> mm. But props to you for doing it. Well, it was a it was a good idea. Ah. We all put our heads together. <laughs> Great. You have protected her from it. Great. Oh. Yeah. Great. And in that moment, that's a little bit of a trace, a little bit of trace of an energy that has been created from you, what has come out of your face, I would call it, has mixed with the blood of the slain she mantises. And you know when you take a little bit of untraceable energy that you all might need to discover, and it mixes itself with the blood of a she mantis, and it mixes itself yet again with a little bit of hell mouth magics. <laughs> A mini little portal opens up, and all yes. of the demons that have been summoned that we haven't entered into the game all come out at once. Okay. First, Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, a vampire from the future that you have not encountered yet, but who has been summoned <laughs> into the Hellmouth comes. Huh? What? Oh, oh God. Back in high school again. This really is a nightmare. I thought I was just asleep. She's sort of like this, you know, cool off-campus girl. You, you know, yeah. So Sunday, mm -hmm. the vampire has entered the situation, and she's not in direct sunlight. You could push her into it because we are at lunchtime. But Sunday, a vampire has entered the room as well. Now, green, the demon, the green-eyed trombonist follows after her. Yep, that's right. They're all like a little tiny crew that assembled <laughs> themselves in a different dimension. Mm. And the green-eyed trombonist, who is just two giant green eyes and a mouth with a trombone on it, and speaks only in trombone. And when she blows the trombone, that's her murder method. Giant green-eyed trombone demon. Now, <laughs> in that moment as well, there is a energy from another demon. Another demon that is so powerful that he makes all burst into song and he has made the green-eyed trombonist's entrance extra musical. For sweet, the sweet song has also entered the realm and the starts with the trombone. Smashes three children. This thing has gone out of control. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> the my. sweet follows behind. Follows behind. Oh, no. Follows behind, saying, "Sometimes the trombone doesn't bring you soothing music. No, it brings <laughs> you bruises. Oh, sometimes you see when that sweet, sweet jazz is getting into your brain. It's actually in your real brain. That's right." Boom, boom. And he hops on top of the tables with you guys. Uh -oh. And you're all entranced by him and he pulls you all, he, he grabs you by your tie and then all of you suddenly are also wearing ties. And he grabs those and he pulls you all in and says, Stay a while, stay a while and put aside your problems while we're smiling. Listen to the demon do 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 ba 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 do da and then as he's doing that, he goes over to the buffet and like half sings, half eats off the buffet. He's like, is that my mood? This soul is very stiff. But let me die to do my zip my food. Ooh, tacos. Oh, yeah, you see me. So Sweet is temporarily half singing, half scatting, third half eating off of the buffet. And that is the third demon of the bunch. And now, of course, clicky, clicky, clicky. The most horrid demon of all. 
or he's like one of those counter things that someone has outside of a club. Ugh. In fact, he is the one that is used outside of the bronze, a place mm. you have all been many times before. Oh. Now what happens is that, that thing, the it's a hand that has and as it clicks, it grows. And as more people enter, it gets bigger. As more people die or leave, it gets smaller. And the clicks, ooh, they're not pleasant. They're not pleasant, they're like some sort of haunting memory. A haunting memory that you all wish you could just bury, just bury with your great uncle Jeffrey. And now, of course, we have hit the goal of a hot vampire boyfriend who finally appears as well. <laughs> and his name is, his name is Marcelo. Mm. Okay. Mm, hello. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, I, the sun I cannot be in, I, I wish that, I wish for just, you know, I have a condition. He's trying to hide, mm -hmm. but he's a vampire. Sure, mm -hmm. if you can all I kind mean, I of get tell. It. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. whose boyfriend is he? Well, we do not know yet. I don't know. But man is he dreamy. Oh. Man is he dreamy. <laughs> so dreamy that it makes you forget the thousands that he's murdered. <laughs> Because that's the universe that we're playing in. Where murder's okay if you've got cheekbones to go with it. All right, now. That's not true. All right, so that is, now we've, I believe we've caught up on all the things. Let me push the little button. But we don't know whose boyfriend, boyfriend Marcelo, Marcelo is. is. Yeah, the most important thing. We still gotta figure out. Exactly. Like, is that like a mystery that we're gonna have to? Yes, it's a mystery Suss. to uncover. And three oh. armed stakes have been added as well. So you oh. have two stakes, I have two correct? Stakes. All right. You have a stake. And you get a stake! <laughs> <laughs> and you get a stake! And I'm just gonna give it to you just so everybody's hey, having hey. a fun time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> right, all right. You've got two vampires in the round. Now keep in mind, you yeah, must see some. He's a vampire that you mm -hmm. might be able to have come along on your journey. Right. Perhaps mm -hmm. turn him to your cause. <gasps> Marcella? Yes. Yeah. Hot vampire boyfriend, Marcella. Mm -hmm. I think he can probably pressure Marcella. He's can definitely mm -hmm. way too pretty to murder in cold blood. Mm. Yes, although his blood... Is, in fact, cold. Yeah, I don't even know if it's still in there. No, yeah. I'm not 100% sure. All right. It might be a gel. And remember, your yes, yes, and your stakes only kill the vampires. Yes. All right, guys. Mm. Do we want to quickly gang up on Sunday? I might be able to help. I think we definitely should. Um, so you have two have, stakes. I have two. Let's, okay. So I could I could go first. Well, because right I've got before one you're to about burn. to do that, this has to stay in the room, okay, guys? The room with all our classmates. Yes, everyone here. Okay. We're all going to share a quick secret, okay? It's a little embarrassing, but. I'm gonna use telekinesis really quickly, okay? Telekinesis? Okay. Yeah. You've been pretending like you don't even know what's going on this whole time. I have to be a man of the people. I have to be a man of the people. My vocabulary can't be too elevated. I can't talk about how rich my family is. We're not originally from Sunnydale. We're from Santa Barbara. No way. We lived at Ortega Street. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna so, use uh, my- And Sweet pops over, over uh, Amir's shoulder <laughs> oh, no. and kind of, can you trust the president who tells you lies? Why did he hide all the truths about himself? I don't know. And maybe you should doubt him too. But do, but de, 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 de. He's got a you burrito. didn't sign in when you came into the school, sir. So you're in violation. I'm gonna freeze Sunday really quickly. <laughs> all right. So Sunday's like, ugh, oh my God. I'm Nineteen. Nineteen. Dang. Uh, yes. Okay. So you. You've, Sunday is about to express how upset she is. <laughs> and her defense is oh reduced my. by two, by the way. Mm -hmm. Her defense is reduced by two. Great. All right, so you've struck Sunday. Yes, and now you must roll to see how much you've damaged her and see if you can kill her. Oh, wait, how did I And her? if I don't, she floats for one turn, so. Mm -hmm. Ugh, That's 15. 15, all right. She is... Uh, the stake is, <laughs> the stake is lodged <laughs> right next to her heart. It doesn't quite stick. Okay, anyone else want to try a turn at staking? I... Yeah, I'm going to punch the stake <laughs> right into her yes. heart. Okay, good, please, yeah. Good, good, good. And then you won't have to use the stake again. I'll allow it. Um, I can use my athletics. Yeah? Mm. Eight. 
Eight. All right. I mean, it, it mostly hurts you. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, ah! yeah. it was like you, your form, you kind of like came at it with like, you didn't really plant, you know? Mm -hmm. And so the gusto was there, but you end up just getting a little bit of a shaved splinter and you take... All right, you take uh, eight points of splinter damage. Ooh. Mm, so sorry. Mm. Ouch. Stakes can damage, but now Sunday is just like, ugh. ugh. And she, she cannot be bothered to remove the stake, though she will be, unless the rest of you want to finish her off right now. Okay. I think I'm just going to do like a running jump and just use one of my stakes and just full force Torque it up. Torque, Torque it, up. it. Yeah. 19. Mm, great. Mm. Yes, so you do a great move. Oh, <laughs> torqued it up. That was a great torque. Good Thanks. job. Thanks. <laughs> really torque is the word before. you're saying? Torque. torque. Like T-O-R-Q-U-E. -E. Yeah, it's a physics <laughs> I learned term. it yesterday in my advent calendar. Oh, like that ice cube film from the future. Because it's 1997. Mm -hmm. Right. What? Oh. What? It's what? an ice cube you, you wouldn't know about it. We it's in the know. future. It's in the future. Uh, yes, you killed Sunday. Oh, yes. yay. Mm -hmm. Teamwork, guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Oh, thanks. I couldn't have done it's it without you supporting me. Dust dead. Now, it's all clear to all of you. Demonic stuff is going on. And for the remaining student body that are just shivering in fear around there, when they thought that they couldn't be scared anymore, as the dimensional portal starts to heal, Sweet runs over to it and grabs it and goes, mm, not quite yet, cause there's two more demons in the bunch. Oh my god! Oh, what? Yeah. It's getting crowded in here. Mm, the clicker's Seriously. gonna get bigger. Yeah. Oh no! You thought that you were here, you thought that you were all alone, but now there here comes a dog and he's a begging for a bone. They call him Kaiju BB and uh. he has really sharp <laughs> teeth and he goes, ah, roo, 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 roo. And then ah, blah, blah, blah. suddenly a tiny little dog runs in and he looks sort of like a fox and he starts chewing at all of your ankles and you know, sort of looking like he's trying to play with you, but actually, in fact, he is a demonic creature that wishes to bite your throats out. So Kaiju has entered, and riding on top of him, he's a very, uh, like, as, as though the proportion sizes are as though it was like a person riding a horse, and it is a small version of someone from another dimension known as Matt Acevedo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, little map. And he's riding atop this Just dog, and he's going, "Why, yeah, <laughs> And he kind of like it looks like he's happy, but then when he gets angry, his must it looks like muscles sort of like burst from his cheeks, and his eyes turn just blue, and they pop out and they go back into his face. And Kaiju and Matt. A demon team for the ages have entered into the realm as well, and lunch is not going as planned. You have killed Sunday. You have killed Sunday. Good for you. Excellent. Now, on to uh, keep in mind that as all of these creatures are coming in, you must not forget that there are the spawn of she mantis growing slowly, because they have now reached they they reached their adolescence. For well, they saw, they hatched in this time period. They grow extra quickly. Now they're all reaching adolescence. You can see them all kind of like uncomfortable with the changes happening to themselves. Some of them sort of uncomfortable with the other ones and trying to have sort of conversations. Some that hatched a little bit earlier that have already have moved on, started little she mantis families of their own and are creating other tiny little satchels of eggs underneath the table. Well, that's too young. You gotta travel before you create little. Essentials of your own. Exactly. Yeah. They're just well, settling they, down real quick here. Yeah, it's stayed in Sunnydale too. In the cafeteria. I know. Mm, I know. It's they should just, dream bigger. Yeah. It's just demonic, demonic horrors happening. Yeah. No. Ugh. Mm. All right. All right, well, so you're faced with demons. A single vampire. It's like, uh, look, I, I think uh, he, he like sort of goes between French and Italian. 
He's like, hey, look, I once a long time ago used to want to ride atop the uh, the choo-choo train, but now all I wish to do is just find myself a tiny little spot in the shade and just wait my days until they are done, you know? <laughs> and Marcelo just is sort of trying to be cool, still doesn't know, still thinks you guys don't know he's a vampire. Okay, I also have a confession to make. Uh-huh. I have a Demon demonic temper. I can start over. I have a, a literal demon de possessing me. you. Okay. I have yeah. a de it's a demon, it's in me. I have a demon. I don't mean to surprise you guys. I know it comes out of nowhere, but I do have a demon inside me. Um, I am possessed by an Ethros demon. It's really annoying. Um, but I can read minds, so I'm gonna try to figure out if Marcelo is turnable to be on our side. Have you been using this mind <laughs> no! in the campaign at all? Because no. Oh, no. What I was thinking about Amir is like private, and I'm that so stays. <laughs> and that stays in your brain for at night, right before you go to sleep. You thought about, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I would like to use anticipation mm. to read the mind of the enemy of my choice. Um, enemy reduces attack rolls made against you by three. This effect lasts as long as the current encounter. So I'm gonna use one mana. Here it goes. <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> So, and that's, okay, so that's, you're trying to read Marcelo's mind. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about vampires. You can't get into the mind of a vampire. Uh, uh. You can't do it. It's like the mirror. The mm. thoughts, they're there, but they don't cause a reflection. Trademark, Angel. Probably the Vampire Slayer, season three, the future. Mm. Did you trademark something in the future? Because that's a great use of the word. I don't know if this is the right use of the word trademark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Mm. Okay, you don't, yeah, you right. can't read his mind. I made a mistake. That's okay. And I admit it. And I'm ready to learn and move forward. Oh, I think there's a lot in Marcelo's head. Mm. I, I think you're okay. Mm. Sweet pops up behind her. <sighs> Sweet's like kind of trying to, con like, to, he's the only one still really focused on, like, the election. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, my, would you want a leader who can read your thoughts? Would you want it? You might think you would because you wouldn't have to call your senators on the phone. No, 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 because they would know. Oh, ho, ho, ho. but then when you're having those evil little thinkings in the night, the ones that are just natural that everybody has, then they might think that you're the one that should go to the prison cell. And some of the students are like, well, she's right. I mean, I don't know what to put on her reading my mind. You know, but he's got weird telekinesis powers. The, the student body is chatting amongst themselves. They really tried to make a good decision. Between Maybe we years. should start by getting the student body out of here. They clearly have no business in all of this. They're not helping us. No. Mm -hmm. The doors are barred shut, but I think if we work together, we can use your telekinesis power coupled with your just actual brute strength and yeah. whatever demon stuff you've got going on and my witch powers, obviously, I burned a bunch of shit on the ground. I'm not a normal human. To get the bars out of the door and then rally the student body out of here. Mm. Let's do. Let's just get them out of here. Okay. Right. And, and that'll that reduce the clicker size too, exactly. so. Exactly. Oh. 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 Stop clicking. Oh God, God that clicking. The worst. Uh, Betty, you get another steak. And you do as well, Amir. Great. Thanks to your thing. Oop, and Casey, your brooding points have been increased. <laughs> um, and then, of course, Amir, your brooding points have also been increased. Well, mm. after uh, all this pressure, mm. what do you expect? Mm. All mm. right. Yep, the pressure has gotten to you. Mm -hmm. uh, true Zucker, vote Jonathan. Jonathan is still ah. in there. That was Jonathan earlier, in case mm. people yes. you all picked up on mm -hmm. that, of course, yes. right? Yep. And he's just in the corner going, eh. <laughs> eh. 
Right, because of course this is season one where Jonathan has yet to be named. Mm -hmm. It's not named until season two. All right, an actual plan. All right, I am going to use my telekinesis to move the bar on the other side of the door, try to slide it to the side. Yeah, I want to like use my magical abilities to assist in this. Ooh, double magics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. Okay, great. Now, do you have to roll for that or something? Yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah, we'll roll. Yeah, we'll roll for it. <laughs> Great, 19. 17! Oh, lovely. <laughs> so uh, your nice. magics like do more than you even wish them to. They like, <laughs> they, they burst the door open, knocking Principal Snyder, who is sitting on the other edge on like one of those weird clunky cell phones, being like, look, I don't care if the mayor is busy. Tell him that we have got a problem here, and if not, the press is going to, I think it's, sent across the, the hallway, but you have found a clear path to the hall. You have created it. All right. She but in that moment, the demon spawn of, uh, of she man just scattered throughout the school. Uh. Oh no. The other demons, the bigger demons, the bigger demons remain in there because they don't skitter as quickly. But these ones skitter, oh, they skitter quick. Okay, we'll look up a way to deal with them later. Exactly. So keep those demons distracted while we get the rest of the student body out of here. All right, well, I've been working on this special pitch. It's cool. called a softball boomerang. And I'm able to hit five enemies in the temple with a boomerang with my ball. Mm. And mm. their attacks are half for the rest of the counter, and they must roll about a 15 to stay conscious. Uh -huh. um, and I'm going to use. Uh, one uh, MP for it. Against? Uh, against all five of the demons. Against all five? Mm -hmm. All right. And they each have to roll 15, 15 or above in order to, to block themselves? All right. 18. 18. All right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Damn you, table. All right. The... Matt Acevedo and Kaiju don't make it. <laughs> um, oh, they were so short-lived. <laughs> All right, Clicky Clicky, as well as Sweet, do not make it. <gasps> Green-eyed prom bonus, and I'm going to include Marcelo in that group as well. <gasps> oh, no. And neither of them make it. Oh! Uh -huh. oh. Well, they don't, as always, you, they're out. You just, they, they, st they lose consciousness, they and lose their consciousness. attacks are half of the rest of the cast. Yeah, yeah, they're so. not dead, they're not dead. They're just all asleep. Everyone's knocked out. Well, so Everyone. we have some time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You do have you some time, but great now. Work, Casey. Can we? Oh, thanks. That was fantastic. Right. It was helpful. I thrive, you on, knocked... really I thrive on encouragement. You knocked, you knocked all the demons out, but then you yeah. noticed that the skittering is all happening in a particular direction. Uh oh. Oh. And this British accent keeps on hopping all over the place. All right. So what mm -hmm. happens is that all of them are all running to one particular space. They're running to the library. Oh no. They're running to the library. Now you followed them to the library. I would say maybe perhaps let the students know if they should come with you, perhaps run, because there is some kind of strange uh -huh. energy pulsing from the doors of the library. Oh no. Yes. No. Yes. All right. We, would we you definitely like to tell go the students to go out to the football field. They yeah. need to be outside yes. where no vampires can get them, yes. in the middle of the football field. Where they Standard can, safe yeah. refuge area. They would all know from emergency drills. Yes. Someone yes. take Snyder's phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Call the emergency services outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get them out into the field. Oh, and that suggestion was noticed by the crowd. And they're like, mm, oh, good call. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, I think they should all stand uh, together, um, all of them facing the outward side, so that no one can come up from behind with them. Real oh, smart. Oh, that's, that's a good, mm, that's a good suggestion as well. Yeah. And Reverse huddle. While you're at it uh, and you're running towards the field, keep an eye out for any pieces of wood or anything that you could use as a weapon while you're forming your phalanx. Oh, so really the wood and get some yeah. suggestions. It's good to get use the wood or something. Just keep in mind that you're valuable. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, you've got mine though. <sighs> Thanks. All right, so. You guys all walk down the hallway for you. We want to close the demons back in the cafeteria, though, before yes. we go to the library. What do you use to do it? Well, we busted the Door thing out them, before. Yeah. Is there a. Um, Perhaps like, some kind of temporal rift? Yeah. Yep. I'm just going to. 
create a temporal rift to keep this door closed. Well, like a, you know, like a, or maybe like not a temporal rift, a uh, a magical force field. Yeah, a magic mm -hmm. force field, like a, a door sealing spell. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do yeah. You, can you do those? Sure. Great. <laughs> I can't okay. be. We'll see how strong it is. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Is it going to be airtight so they suffocate? Oh. Ew. Uh, well, not Marcello. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes. Maybe we should like drag Marcello with us. <laughs> Do you want to? That's not a bad idea. I think yeah. we should. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna take Marcello with us. All right. So Marcello, who is fully passed out, is just being dragged by his feet. <laughs> he looks comfortable though. Yeah. All he ever wanted was just a nap in the shade. Okay. We have to avoid the windows as we yeah. head to the cool. library. If this magical ceiling spell doesn't work. Plan B, we can always shove a vending machine in front of the door. There we go. Yeah. Uh, six. Uh, it doesn't quite work, no, so you no. uh, shove a vending machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll shove a vending machine. Right. All right, now, that pulsing, it's pulsy. You get over there, you walk up close, you mm -hmm. all skitter down just the hallway, and as you approach, there's this And then the doors burst open, and giant serrated hands do push through, and all of the tiny little she mantis spawn are scattered throughout. There's about 200 of them now. Oh, God. And in the center of the library is a giant she mantis, for they have all come together and they have opened the Hellmouth. Ah. Uh. The Hellmouth has been opened, and you all have opened the Hellmouth. Oh, you did this. My you gosh. did this. So a giant she mantis stands above, and they are all there trying to summon her into being. Now, also, if we get to our next fundraising goal of 750, you all will be hit with Sweet's song and have to sing <laughs> about your feelings. Uh oh. Gosh. But right now, he's stuck behind a vending machine. <laughs> That's so. true. Yeah. But you can kind of hear it in the back. He's oh, like, mm, cherry coke. <laughs> Last sweet, sweet cherry coke. I want all oh, that. Oh, gave me a grape soda instead. Mm, I'll have that instead. Mm, yum, yum. All right, you're in the library. The hell mouth has been opened. A vampire is unconscious. What was that? What was the, the rule again as to how it comes back to life? Um, I don't know how he comes back, but. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, For the rest cool. of the encounter, his attacks were halved, but right. I, I feel like that. Yeah, he can come back. Yeah. He, he, he's back up. Oh my. Mm. This is also something I have not seen before. Mm. Hello. Hey, Marcel, you're not single, right? Um, I, I wander alone. I wander by myself. I have no other. I have no other attachments to this world except for my boots, which I do not remove out of fear as to if I would lose them. Well, uh, if you don't help us close the Hellmouth, you won't have anyone in Sunnydale. Oh, oh no, the Hellmouth. Tell me, what is this? It's like a gate to the demonic world of everything that's bad and icky. Oh no. I think you know what we're talking about. I know. About. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, we're all sunny Now up. that we are all very comfortable friends, perhaps I should share that I am not quite a normal man. I don't know if you You're, understand. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah got we, we got it. We got it. We, got it. we know. You, 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 you understand this? Yeah, you're yeah. Franco-Italian. Yes. I am a, a yeah. very yeah. good, yeah. strong man. Because? Because I am a vampire. Yeah. 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 And you do not all hate me for this? No. no. You're, pretty, you're pretty dreamy. Yeah, we're willing to forgive all the hundreds of thousands of people you've probably murdered in your incredibly long lifespan due to your excessively good looks. Cheekbones, yeah. Can you really, yeah. really wear a t-shirt well? <laughs> <laughs> all I did was pick it off the floor. <laughs> oh my god, you would! <laughs> uh, and in the corner, there is a... The janitor is there watching on going, Well, I'll be! I see some weird stuff in this school. But never seen nothing like this before. Well, rip, rap, doop, rip. And he starts kind of speaking in hillbilly speak, but he didn't realize that that hillbilly speak no. was in fact a 
spell of sorts. No. no. Rip that deep, that deep, deep. And all of a sudden he gets trapped in tongues. And he's like, oh, his eyes, his mouth and his eyes are not friends with each other. And then out of his own mouth comes, his tongue grows into a giant tongue. It goes bigger and bigger and bigger until it leaves his mouth. Killing the janitor. No. Oh, no. Killing the janitor. And he's replaced by a different janitor. Huh? Immediately. Uh-huh. As he falls dead, another man just catches his mop. <laughs> and, starts... <laughs> and now the tongue starts. <laughs> it just starts growing like appendages. Too many of them, and this is a trickster demon that has been summoned. A trickster demon known as Tangora. 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 With a sound in the middle. Tangora, the mighty. Okay. Tangora. And Tangora can't talk really well. Oh, Tangora has like a many voices because it's all tongue. So it's like. Little Trishin and this I will to bring about death and destruction in your name. So Tangora has now something to worry about as well, as well as the giant 20 foot tall She Mantis and her 200 children. Now, you've got Marcelo on the team. Good on you. Good on you. <laughs> Great. 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 Yeah. Mm. Now, all right, so what's the strategy? Now slowly we hear Sweet is oh, Sweet no, is no. He's removing he's drinking so many of the sodas <laughs> no. that it's making the vending machine less heavy. How much change does he have? <laughs> uh, you can kind of just hit it in a good way. Oh he's uh, Fonzie. Uh, yeah. He is sweet. He's like, mm, I've never tried this thing called seven up. <laughs> so he's drinking all these sodas, it's making the thing get less and less <laughs> heavy and possibly able to be moved. Uh-oh. Okay. It right. hasn't happened right. yet. It hasn't happened right. yet. Okay. There's still a bunch of tab left in there because he didn't realize that that was his drink. He thought it was just a button you push. <laughs> yeah. All right, there you stand. What will you do? The student body, they are out. Okay, <clears throat> you guys, I don't know if you might, you might have forgotten this, but I am possessed. Yes. But, yeah, we didn't yeah. even forget. Yeah. Did not slip my mind. Okay, well, <laughs> if I can be possessed, anyone can, right? I can leave my body vulnerable for three turns to possess the body of a target enemy. So, mm. wait, do you have control of the demon? Like, are we talking to the demon right now? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just a normal high school girl. Uh, okay. But you literally just reminded us all that you were possessed by a demon, so. You could see why that would be confusing. I'll eat your children once they're born of your craw. Oh God. That, sorry. (laughs) What I meant was we should all be friends. So, sorry. What, which demon are you trying, are you trying, are you? you, could you take over the mantis? The mantis. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. let's do it. Oh. And, ha- and sweep all those little babies together and jump in the hole. Great. Good. Good, Good plan. plan. Let's do it. Yeah. The tongue. Let's close it up. Oh, just grab the tongue while I'm at it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Right. That's a lot. It's a lot. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so I guess. You get another steak. Oh, thank you. So I use two mana for this. You get another steak. Oh. All right. <gasps> 17. Ah! Successful, wonderful. Oh. So you undergo the, the Ethros ritual in which you your, your body falls limp and out of your mm-hmm. face into the head of the she mantis itself. <laughs> now you're the she mantis. Are you? Uh, hi guys! Hey! Oh my God. Oh wow! Hi, it's me! Hey. Oh wow! What's it Don't like? Be scared. Don't, Don't be scared! Don't be scared! Don't be scared! Don't be scared! Keep those Don't serrated things away from me, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Babies. Babies. 
They all skitter close to you. Yes. Okay. Uh, t uh, tongue, guy. Tongue, Tungwara. Uh, Come here. Myla, master. Uh, what do you wish of your will? Just um, bring it in for a hug. Uh, <laughs> just bring what it. What an honor to be embraced uh, in the physical form by another. Uh, and especially the she man that walks up uh, close to you. Oh, the whole family's together, everybody. Uh, uh, and then I grab them, uh -huh. and then I jump into the into the hole. Into the hell mouth into hole. Into the hell mouth hole. Uh, oh. Don't get sucked in. Oh wait, Benny, wait. Okay, Benny. no, I don't want to do it. Okay, wait. Hold. No, I'm scared. Okay. Ooh. Is there is there um, perhaps any kind of like thing that you discover inside your new self where maybe a weakness that we could exploit? Good thought. Like, I don't know, I used to collect bugs because I thought that they were so cool. And that I found that sometimes the praying mantises, that they, uh, the way that they would get so scared is uh, their hearing. Okay, all right, I'm reaching in. I do not like loud noises. So what I'm gonna do That's is, it. I'm, I'm, it, it disables me. Maybe a kind of loud noise, like a, do you uh, remember? Maybe uh, like some kind of uh, flappy creature? Bats! Aha! Bat sonar! I don't Aha. like bat sonar. That's it really freezes me up, it's very bad. That's the one. Oh. So, okay. Okay. so we got it. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So I want to push everybody else down the hell now. I'm going to stay up here. I'll, once I come back, I'll position myself right on the edge of the hell mouth mm -hmm. so that we can try and figure out a bat sonar thing. That sonar thing. There was a should tape we, back yeah, in bio class a few months ago, right? right? Should we check the stacks? Yeah. yeah. Let's check the stacks. Okay, okay, I'll just, I'll wait. Here. Okay. So we go to the cassette section of the stacks of the library. Mm, all right. And we look under B. Under B for bats. For bats. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you're coming through, you see, oh, you see Batman. Not quite. It's, a, Not it's quite. an audio cassette. Story. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that an, sounds really it's an audio. Cool. Yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna pocket that. I'm Adam West reading it. scripts for right. 66 yeah. Batman. That's what it is. <laughs> yes. It's like sort of lost <laughs> tales. All right. Oh, there, there you go. There's, there's, there's bats. That's it? Well, okay. So now we, just, we gotta play it. Yeah. Guys, you're uh, ready to get a player. Uh, yeah, we need to get yeah. a tape player. I know. A boombox. Um, there is no player. There's no player. I can swing by the no AV. To be found. I think really we're going to lose our yeah, time. Yeah, she can only stay there. Attack this praying mantis queen. Can can you, are you capable of transmogrification? I mean, I can try. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just super strong. So if you need yeah. me to lift you up, I will do that, but. I can maybe bring something to you with my mind. Sure. So I'm just gonna, I, this would be a great time for that whole thing about vampires turning into bats to be real. Mm. Um, Marcelo, mm. uh, we, I've read in stories. Yes. Is it true that you could become a bat? Uh, there is only one vampire that has the power to become a bat, but it is not I. Yes, Dracula, the vamp. Dracula. Yes, it's Dracula. We only we we, we do not say his name very loud. You've already said it a few times. Dracula. 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 You know, Gary Oldman in a film that maybe came out already. I do not know. Okay. Mm. But Dracula is the only way that you can find the bat. Mm. Damn. So we <sighs> need. Uh, sorry, language. Oh, Darn. It's okay. I like that. Oh Thanks. wow. I liked it. Oh, no, <laughs> something, something happened. Hold Makes on. Uh, so we need a tape player. Hey, I'm really big. So. Maybe I could like look for a book about how to summon Dracula because this uh, library has like a lot of weird books in it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. If you have okay. the ability to do that, let's go to the. <laughs> oh, did you so you open up, you, you smack a book, <laughs> and 
the book falls open. <laughs> but it's one of and but it's one of those um, magic books where you open it and something happens. Ah! Pop-up we shouldn't let the mantis yeah. open the box. Yeah. A pop-up book of the magic of the magic like soul pops out of it and oh. is now physically oh. in the and room. In, and in that moment, the pages open up, and it looks as though it is a, 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 a like a music book. Oh great! Like oh, there's little oh. notes. Oh, that's okay. not bad. We, no, we it's not so music. bad. It's not so bad, yeah. right? It's not so bad at all. But then suddenly, maybe it's in the smash shop. The notes they hop off. Four of the notes float out into the air like this. Okay. You know, there's a G clef, hmm. a Y clef, a D clef, whatever you guys see, those are real. <laughs> and yeah, then y. they yep. start yep. to, yeah. they start to <laughs> take shape. <laughs> and they start to sprout these sort of like elongated forms and turn into this man, each of them the same. Oh. With a short little beard. Some, and one of them has just like these sort of choppy mustached faces here. All of them with a face like this. And it's for what they call Zach Eubanks. <laughs> in a barbershop quartet. Oh. Can they, they the... harmonize in a way that mimics bat sonar? Let's find out. <laughs> but they go, bum bum bum, trapped in a book. Now we're out here, trying to get along in this world of fear. We're just a singing little group. Da -do 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 -do. The time to see if we're useful. That's right, I've got a little song and I'll sing it all day. Don't you want to see the way that we play? Do -do -do -do. And my mustache, sometimes a beard. That is right, can you hear what I hear? We're saying who? That's right, we're just four of the same dude. And they all have like little hats and they're like, Don't you love us? And in that moment, their teeth. Their teeth shoot out. Yeah. Yeah. They're not good to you, they're demons, remember? Okay. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> their teeth shoot out. And each of you take. No. no. Oh, no. 15. What? <laughs> what? I, 15? 15. One, we five, all only have one, like 16. I'm, I'm oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're really low. Oh, 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 seven. Okay. Okay, okay guys, I'm not feeling. I'm not good. Oh no. Um. Sweet heard that song from the past, and he and no. and he he didn't he pushed it away enough for him to be able to kind of swoop, to slide through, and slide through he do he do, and Sweet swoops in. No. Ah, did I hear somebody singing some of that barbershop quartet music? Because I know that I. Think that all of you look like a barbershop quartet yourselves. Oh. What? Oh. And he has now done his demon magic y thing, for we have hit the goal to make it that you all must now sing your feelings. <laughs> oh, no. If we now, if we sing well enough, will those four dudes go away? Uh like, will we'll they be find out. Okay. We'll find out. Okay. Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I just had to move to this town called Sunnydale. Because my mom wants me to be this great witch who saves the world from all the evil that seems to gather here. Why, oh, why does anybody live in this godforsaken town when everyone here ends up dead? Ends up dead. It's a terrible way to live your life. Ends up dead. Terrible way to live your life. Secret. I've got my secrets. I'm stuck in this mantis body. It seems like everybody likes me better this way. 
secrets. I'm worried no one likes me. If I keep my face up, I'm gonna make new friends and be the president. How? That's what she thinks anyway. Will she get the vote today? La 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 la. I used to think I was a big shot. I had the C on my Letterman's jacket, but now I know I'm just a girl. All my friends, I can call you friends, right? You all have powers, and I just have my might, but it's not enough. And you might not know, but I'm about to snuff out. Snuff out. Snuff out. Tell me about it. Just a regular, boring, normal human like me. Not quite, not quite like you. No. Okay. Yeah, you're in a mix currently, so. <laughs> All right. I take that note. It's almost the end of the day. Why don't we fight this mantis that prays? Ah. <laughs> In that moment, the Zach Eubank <laughs> quartet, they go, <laughs> and their heads explode, but they're not dead. Uh, <laughs> oh. The heads explode, and then all <laughs> become one head. Huh. So, so the bodies... Wait, so all the bodies go to one head? <laughs> all the bodies, there's one head, <laughs> one. And, and the oh, body, the and four was... mouths around it, sort of like the heads fuse into one, so it's like if there was a head... It's a jellyfish. Is that what jellyfish are like? Well, they have tentacles. Yeah, the tentacles are not as big as bodies. Do they have four different faces around the sides? Well, this does. <laughs> so there are four different faces around the sides. And all the legs are out. But yes. All right, but good job. Good job expressing. Do you feel closer to each other, further apart? I feel like we've grown together yeah, a little I feel bit. Like I said what I had to say. Mm. And you know, you asked if you could call us friends. Of course you can call us friends. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. A hundred times yes, of yes. course. Mm. That means a lot. Excellent. Now, <laughs> how long do you remain in the body of the she mats? Three turns. Three turns. Okay. Excellent. Turns. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, all of you, you've all sang your little tales, found out where you are. You stand before all of these demonic creatures. Would you like to kill anything, attack anything? What's your, what's your move? I'm a big mantis. Yeah, I mean, I... You're I, a big mantis, which is good because it's like you're keeping the mantis's moves at bay. You're not letting these things, in the presence of their mother, uh -huh. they do not want to spawn anymore. It would be super embarrassing. Okay. So you're just kind of keeping them all... At, they, they, okay. they don't grow any larger. Okay. They don't have any more eggs. They are contained for now. So we have to fight these demons and then find a way to get bat noises yeah. into the library. Mm, mm -hmm, mm, 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 okay, mm. I'm gonna rock smash the Zach Eubank band. Mm -hmm. that yes. I believe played for Jay Leno. It for did. A short yes, it did. The Zach Eubank <laughs> band did play for Jay Leno. Re later replaced by its, uh, its, its Kevin, guitarist brother Kevin. Yeah, Leno. yeah, right. But until and, then. He, and, and he put an S on the end to kind of, oh. sort of distance himself from the yeah. Eubank. Yeah, got it, yeah. got it. And keep in mind that they are four demons, but they are one thing. Right. But they're super strong. So I'm going to rock smash, which means I'm gonna use my telekinesis and hurl a boulder. Where's this boulder? Uh, uh, out of the ground. I'm ah, yeah. Pull it out of the library. Out of the hell mouth, because yes, keep in mind, the hell mouth is ripped open. There yeah. are rocks that are visible, yes. And we're in the deal. library right now, if you're just joining us, we're in the middle of the Sunnydale High Library. The Hellmouth has been opened, the giant she mantis has returned along with all of her spawn. That's what you get for not cleaning under your desks, as you were.
I'm going to stun it and then deal half one d20. Mm. And I rolled a six. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> okay, it doesn't. Pulling at the earth. <clears throat> the rock, like, kind of. It, it, it does a little rotation. And it crushes 10 of the little bugs. So mm-hmm. now they're down to 190. Okay, well, that's okay. something. It's something. Yeah. 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 And you see that crushing them mm-hmm. also affects them. Good to know. Okay. Also yeah. affect them. Mm. All right, you've done that. All right, well, that's, that's what that's I did. Okay. Yeah. Now, you might want to stay inactive until we can find a way to get that bat so- yeah, okay. I'm gonna try to sneak to the section of the library that has magic books and look for the Dracula book, the one that says Dracula on the spine. Okay. <laughs> Not Bram right. Stoker, but like in the magic section. Yeah. Oh, I see. All right, all right. Well, you go over to there, <laughs> but all they've got is Bram Stoker's Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is there, are there any books that say vampire? Oh, with a Y. Oh, yeah. With a Y. Yeah. There, That's how you know that it's like, not yeah. on the shelf. Oh, in that. What about in that like weird book locker place? Oh, I go to the yeah. repository. There's the book locker. There's also an office. Okay, mm. I go to the office first. Mm-hmm. And I look for the vampire book. Mm-hmm. So you go to that, and you enter the office. There's no one in there. Mm-hmm. But there is a cup of tea. It still has steam <gasps> rising off of it. Uh, oh, mm. I see. Mr. Giles, are you here? He's not there. Where could he be? Mm. Where could he be? Where could he be? I think he's close. Oh my goodness. He just left oh, his team. Right. Yeah. We just got <laughs> he's gotta be around. Around. We just got some brooding points added for everyone. Oh, okay. All right, so KC, you and your giant mantis form. And keep in mind that that song that they sang, that was a giant praying mantis That was amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. The snaps were really... Use your yeah. imagination. Yeah. Use your imagination. All right, now uh, Luna, of course. I mean, you've gotten hit with many points. I know. Points How are you feeling? Full of just ennui. Just... On, oh, yeah. Ennui? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Marcelo is like the happy one of the bunch now. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, don't, I thought that all the singing was so nice. This is the best day I've had in a hundred years. Except for this one day where I was just sitting on the lake in the middle of the night. All right, and now we've got, all right, everybody, you've got your brooding points added. Thank you so much for those brooding points. All right, so yes, no, the cup is steaming hot. Now, definitely, I believe that individual, if he were to arise, would know how to get to the proper books. And you go over to the other little spot? Yeah. No way. Locked. Mm. The cage is locked. If we you could try to smash it open, mm-hmm. or you could try to find the key, or you could try to find the one with the key. Mm. Um, Marcel, can you smell Englishman? <laughs> <sighs> I know it's a weird request, but... But yes, I can. can. I smell Englishman. And I smell English breakfast, but it is not breakfast anymore. Mm. He's in the bathroom. Oh. 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 Okay. Giles is in the toilet, as it were. He'll be back soon, I'm sure. Uh, if Too we much? talk, if we talk really, <laughs> if we talk really loudly about Too much? Com- computers. Will that make him so mad? He'll like how great computers are. Okay, so, so we stand we outside the store. Good idea. We stand outside the door and we talk. About, oh, why are we even in this library? Computer. I don't know. We can just find out everything on a computer on the World Wide Web. It's so much easier. Books are the worst, and they smell bad. We should probably burn them. Let's start with this section of the library. Yeah, I have fire powers. We can just burn it all down. I hate to break this to you, but your voices, they are not loud enough in order to bring. They are not. 
Well, thanks oh, for nice that. Cha- it was nice back. chatting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. And in that moment, as you're all talking, I'm afraid that you forgot that Sweet is here. Oh my yeah. gosh! And in Sweet's pushing off of the of the vending machine, mm. oh the other demons have entered as well. No! Oh, now you guys tremble. Now you've got you've got a containment of all of the little magic. But it can only last so long because now Matt Acevedo and Kaiju BB have rolled in here and they have turned their sights <sighs> to you. Oh no! no. <laughs> Oof. It's all right. They do gnaw a bit <laughs> at your legs. <laughs> Both they do of them. take three points of damage. Bring me down to zero health. <laughs> Oh, zero flat. Mm-hmm. Oh no. I love you guys. Well, you're not dead. Oh. Not dead. You're just in <clears throat> on the verge. I'm of... really, I'm, but I'm giving my last confession. <laughs> oh. Would you like this, to confess? This is better than any team I was ever on, and I, I'm so glad I, I know you, and you should never be ashamed of who you really are, and you don't have to confess it because we all can tell. So. Thanks, guys. Oh. <coughs> oh, my. What a beautiful sentiment. Could I do something? Of course. Could I instruct my baby um, mantises to give her a sports massage? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to... Babies, go and do some kinesiology on KC. Oh, thank you. And... and, and this is all part of the plan, believe me. So, I'm gonna do that. Should I, I roll for that? Mm. Twenty. Oh! Whoa. Oh! Whoa. Whoa. oh! Dang! So all of your little praying mantis babies, <laughs> they go over. There's and keep in mind, there's 190 of them left. <laughs> So many of them crawl onto the edge and start mm-hmm. giving you the massage. About mm-hmm. 50 of them are giving the sports massage. About 30 of them go underneath and lift you up and are like sort of like moving you along. Like, and they bring you to the Hellmouth's edge. Uh. And you sit next to the edge of the Hellmouth and the rest of them start praying. Because <laughs> they're praying mantises. And do they pray? What do they pray to? Is it just a little thing that it looks like? No, they pray. That's why they're called that. And they start to pray. And then, bursting from the hell mouth, comes all these tiny little mandibles and serrated hands, and they, they start going into you. And, and while you're on the verge of death, You are filled with the demonic energy, and now you are of the demon mantises yourself. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. But I'm whatever you better. want, mother. <gasps> mm. Mm. Now you can talk me. to it in plain English. Okay. Um. But it is not you yourself anymore. You are still yourself. I'm really sorry, kids. Casey is gone. Do not worry about her. Okay. Uh, How's everything going over there? Yeah. Uh, I had uh, a really Casey? good massage. And now Mother shall instruct me for the next. Mother? That's... Oh, oh who knew? Oh, uh, oh, team Mom. Hey. Oh, if you can instruct your mantis babies to revive Casey from the dead in a questionable manner, Maybe you could also command them as like a little mini army to take care of the other demons in here right Is now. Is that going to be my last thing I do in the body? Because listen, I got killing mantises on lock. I can do yeah. some fire damage yeah. in the meantime well, if we need to. I can boulder okay. them. And you yeah. can leave the body. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to tell the babies to go uh, attack. Oh, because everyone's here. All now. the other demons in here. I want them to just horde attack all of the other demons that are in here. Mm, all right. We'll leave Marcella. Yes. Mm-hmm. We'll leave Marcella. Yeah. 
Ah. Too, he's too pretty. To too pretty. Uh, you do make me. You, if I had blood in my body, I would be blushing. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts sort of like doing this. <laughs> cool. All right. Go again. Okay. Cool. Right, say it again. What are you doing? I'm instructing the baby mantises to horde attack the other demons in the room, except for Marcelo. All right, so Marcelo is freed. <clears throat> There's still the giant trombone. <laughs> There's Clicky Clicky, the giant clicker from the bronze. Sunday is dead, the Zach Barbershop Quartet. <laughs> oh my gosh, she has babies. So many I never had any wish that I wish. I wish that I wished for wishes, but I have none. <laughs> and they have Only no teeth. Only a face. Oh, mm. their teeth are gone? Their teeth are gone, right? Because they here. shot their teeth at us? Yeah. So no teeth. The Zach demons. <laughs> I mean, I, guess, I don't know, but some of the facts. <laughs> yeah, they're teethless. Okay, great. Toothless, <laughs> you might say. Excellent. All right, and then little Matt Acevedo. Don't forget, he's there. <laughs> Tiny little Matt <laughs> Acevedo. Got your baby. Yeah. yeah. He, has a little, he has a little cowboy hat on. Aww. <laughs> that's he's fresh. like, yeah, hey guys. Are you having a good time? <laughs> I am having a good time. And then I will put it upon my face as though it was war paint. <laughs> All right, go you do your thing. Here we go. Oh, the trick's the demon, the tongue. Oh, uh, seven. <laughs> seven. All right. Uh, it does some stuff. <clears throat> it basically flicks off Matt Acevedo's hat. <laughs> <laughs> to start. Good, Good job. Starter. And he's furious. Thank you. But he's furious about the rules. Oh no. Oh, no. Yeah, so he, uh, you're still, and then in that moment, you return back to your normal yeah. body, correct? Yeah. Oh no, well, Mount Bye. Mantis. Now there's oh, an no. adult Mantis. Okay. And then Man <laughs> Mantis is very, very angry at the rest of you, except for you, <clears throat> except for you. And now she commands you. Oh no! Uh -oh. <laughs> she commands you to attack that which took her form. Dang! Yeah. Oh no! Uh. Mm. Yeah. Do I have special demon abilities now? Use whatever's there. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna do my leg press smash on her. Oh. I can leg press anything, any size, and throw it at enemies, stunning them for three turns. So I'm gonna pick her up and leg press her at the other two. Great. Oh no. Oh, I got a 10. All right. Well, you leg press her and throw it and it doesn't quite hit the other two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. We jumped out of the way, sorry. We yeah, sorry, you. It's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Instinct, just yeah. try not to get smashed. Someone yeah. running at you. Yeah, it's okay. Excellent. All right, great. So, but you get hurt in the process. Mm. Yes. All right. Mm. Take three. How are you doing? I'm now at six. Okay. You're not doing great. Not great. Not great. Yeah. Not, not great. Well, you know, high school's rough. <laughs> high school is mm. rough. All right, excellent. Uh, so, you are all in a tough situation. We sure are. Mm. Yep. Now, where do you fight? Do you fight the mantis? Do you fight the demons? You do you flee? I know. I think, though, uh, I could probably get some damage done by sacrificing myself, but that seems needless. So sacrificing. Them. Yeah, I have an uh, I have an overdrive attack for you know really angsty teenagers, but I also deal damage to myself oh, to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Suitable mm. for angsty teenagers. Right. Mm. I'm feeling a lot of angst though. Those brooding points are up. Oh yeah. The Sad brood. about my friend Casey. Oh, Casey. Yeah. Poor Casey. I'm gonna I'm gonna Casey's summon sad. the Dark Phoenix. <gasps> summon it. Ooh. Yep. So I summon a, a shadowy flaming bird to rain destruction down. <laughs> um and let's see. I for every mana point that I spend. I deal plus three damage, but I also deal four damage to myself. Ah. So I'm only gonna spend, um, uh, well, I'll spend two, and that'll bring me down to one HP. 
Pull. Oh. So. Ah. Okay. So, all right. First spin roll is a nine. So plus three is twelve. And five. That sucked. Seventeen. Or no, that's not right. Eight. I can't do math. Eight. Yeah. All right. Yep. All right. Uh -huh. Eight was, and then so you deal that. You're down to one HP. I'm down to one, and that's the amount of damage I did to just everything in the area because it's just raining destruction on everything. You did eight damage to everyone. No, eight and whatever I rolled the first time. I don't remember what the because yes. it's two. It's so you roll a d20 for every mana point you spend. Hmm. And then you, so you on your friends as well. Uh, it says each enemy. This is friendly the bad fire. Guys. Friendly this fire. Is the bad guys. Yes. Great. <laughs> So the dark phoenix emerges from you <laughs> as though it was a shadow on your shoulders, but then had its own form. Mm -hmm. It goes for Matt Acevedo <laughs> and Kaiju first. And it's sort of like they're, they're, you know, they're, they're springing along like a cowboy on a horse, and in the sky, like some kind of dragon of horrible deeds, just <laughs> unleashes flame and fire and fury, and all of a sudden, oof. And say those words together anymore. But, <laughs> uh, and then just <laughs> Matt just turns into a giant ball of flames <laughs> and he falls off of uh, Kaiju. And now Kaiju is not quite dead and is just singed down to just like the skin, you know, like yeah. all the fur is mm -hmm. gone. And then Matt is off and he's just, <laughs> he looks as though he's a stunt man that set himself on fire. And he's just like, ah, ah, ah. And he starts running amongst all of the little spawn mm. and is lighting many of them on fire. He's <laughs> bumping into them accidentally. Yes! And just, he eliminates about 30 of them. Great. Wow. We're down so to 160. Yeah. Down, yeah 160 yep. of these little I remembered things. it was 12 and 8, so it was 20 altogether. Good math, everyone. Yep. Yep. Good math. All right, now he's still alive, but now he's a tiny little fire thing. The other thing that was done, the uh, Zach Barbershop Quartet Demon is dead. Yes! Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it sings one final note. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we say goodbye to you on this tragic evening. <laughs> good night, good night, good... <laughs> <laughs> It splatters and covers all of the windows. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then the green eyed trombonist. All right. Uh, the green eyed trombonist also is now dead. Yes. And what has happened in that moment is that the dark penis swooped down, grabbed the trombone, played it a little bit. That's, that's what sound makes. Mm -hmm. And in that process, you kills at least 30 more, at least, oh, exactly 30 perfect. more of the tiny little things. So we're down to All the while, the She-Man is shrieking in fear. Yeah, you're done with that one. That one is dead. Now, Clicky, 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 on the other hand, remains. <laughs> oh, um, no! Yes, no, Clicky, 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 but now he's just down to Clicky. <laughs> now he's just Clicky. Advancement, advancement. And what yeah. about Sweet? Sweet lives. Oh. Sweet lives. You can't really kill Sweet. You can't really kill Sweet. <sighs> sweet is a tough one to get. And then Sweet is just in the corner, just changing the colors of the suits. Just like, <laughs> just going through, just trying it out. It's pretty unfazed by it all. All right, so, excellent. Now, you've got the giant mantis. <sighs> Most of the demons are dead. So it was Clicky, Clicky, Clicky is down to just Clicky. Marcelo is just part of the gang, and you've got Sweet. And those are who remains, of course. The Hellmouth is open. Things are bursting through. Does anyone have any more magics left that they would like to use? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I could do... Okay, it's gonna get me down in health quite mm. a bit, but I could Can do... you spare the health? I'm at six, it'll bring me down to three. Okay. I'll, I'll do You'll it. You'll be doing better than I yeah. am. You're about to be dead. I'm, well, I'm super almost dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and so then you're just a walking <laughs> mantis demon. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing over there? Me? I'm, uh, I've got 11 health. What? Oh. Yeah. Mother, say I can kill him. But I plan on using it. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think you should use it before I use it. Okay. Right? What I'm thinking right now is we've got Sweet, we've got Clicky, mm-hmm. we've got... Mama Mantis. Mama Mantis. Mm-hmm. 130 babies. They're not so bad. Yeah, the babies don't <laughs> the seem babies to be aren't that bad. worse. Yeah, worst case scenario, we can just throw a bunch of books on them. Yeah, turn over the bookshelves. bookshelves. And honestly, Clicky is super annoying, but I don't think Clicky is setting us back. <laughs> no, Clicky is small and annoying. I'm going to jump in the front, and I'm going to rock smash against the Mama Mantis. Wow. Ooh. Wow. And that's going to be two <laughs> <laughs> oh damage. Two damage. Two damage. No matter what, it's two damage. Yep, great. So two damage against the Mama Mantis. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. The rocks are getting, I'm getting a little bit better control on the yeah. rocks. Yeah. I mean, it's a learning process. Yeah. Sure. I, I, yeah, this is my first time using rocks. Yeah. So. All right, great. All right. Now, um, the student, now keep in mind, keep in mind that just stay focused, I would say, in this moment is what I would advise to you. Try to kill this thing as you can. Yeah. Because there is supposed to be a debate tonight. You just remember. <sighs> And even though there's demonic things happening, each of you in the backs of your minds can sense, and you can sense it in his mind, for you can read the mind, that there is still an election to be won. Now, can you perhaps use whatever is done today to your advantage? The one, the savior, the one that brought everybody to safety, got the lunchroom rid of the gross meatballs that they loathe so much. Perhaps, perhaps, Mama Mantis things. All right, can you not use any more of yours or your? Or yours? I can still use magic. I just can't use the magic I just used. My mm-hmm. other magic only uses mana, and I still have plenty of that. All right, excellent. Mm-hmm. All right, now. Yeah, I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna left? do my overdrive. So I'm gonna do mind crush. For each mana spent on the spell, possess the mind of your foe, crushing their mind and damaging them and yourself. Oh. Each attack deals two half d20s. For each mana spent on this spell, deal three damage to your character. Oh! Okay, so I'm only going to do one. <laughs> mm. Um. Okay. So that's right. going to be... Who are you going towards? Mama Mantis. Mama Mantis. Mm-mm-mm. 13, and we round up, right? Yeah. So, seven, and two. So this is a three, so then it'll be two. Two, and total? So total, it would be nine. Mm, all right. Now, Mama Mantis, it's chipping away. You're chipping away. You sliced off one of the prayer hands, causing all the tiny little things to, sh- and to shriek, to shriek and to be so sad. But she's kind of a little bit difficult to kill. You might want to find out the way to get the tape to play. Yeah, we need the tape. Yeah. You do need the tape to play. I I think I'm going to do something. We've got Clicky, Matt, Sweet, who's just messing with his clothes, Mm -hmm. and Mama Mantis, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We might have to deal with Sweet, but I'm going to do something right now. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try something I read about in a book. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but it's called Whiskey Stones. It's huh? going to drain a lot of my health and a lot of my mana, but I think okay. it can freeze a lot of these enemies so we have a chance oh. to run and try to look for a cassette player. Right. Mm. Which is really expensive technology right now, so <laughs> yeah. there's not a whole lot around. All right, so I just look at a villain and I a half a d20 roll, and then if they can't roll above 14 save, then they get frozen. All right. So I'm gonna do this to Matt running around on fire right now. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be six damage, but I can also freeze him unless he rolls above a 14. He does not. Great. Yes. 
Yay. He's frozen. The fire turns into ice fire. <laughs> <laughs> and now I turn over to Cookie. Cookie, Cookie, Cookie. Cookie, yes, Cookie. Just Cookie. Cookie. <laughs> That's going to be nine damage. I know. And yeah. then if Clicky doesn't roll above a 14, Clicky gets frozen. 13, frozen. Oh, okay. Okay. And I'm dwindling oh, down here, but I'm going to look at Mama Mantis. Oh, dang. And I'm going to give Mama Mantis a little bit of these whiskey stones. Okay. Okay. And <gasps> I rolled a 20. Oh. <laughs> frozen. Dang. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Bro, All right. Sweet. Oh. Leave him to leave him to be. I. He's fine. He's yeah. just gonna sing he's... about things and observe. I don't yeah. mind him. I don't mind him. I think we're all in touch enough with our feelings at this point that he's not really any danger to us. So mm. let's go. He's I think right. we should he's go. Just playing with the suspenders. <laughs> I think we should swing by the nurse's office while we're yeah. at it. <laughs> I think we yeah, should definitely. You can. Yeah. Yeah. We should maybe try and do that. I think maybe the music room might have a cassette player. Good yes. idea. Good call. Good yep. call. Mm. All right. So we don't know any way to reverse Mantis KC. possession. Demon magic, do we? Are there mm. any like books on the subject? Buck, uh, bug magic books that we can just see at a glance? Well, as a person with an Ethros demon within you, ah. correct? Yes. I wonder if there's any way that Ethro's demon can perhaps find oh. another body. Oh. Okay. All right. So I'm going to use possession on KC. Mm hmm. And um, the Ethro's demon will go into her. But then it says, leave your body vulnerable. So does that mean I'm just sitting there? The Ethro's demon will no longer be in you. In me. Okay, great. So and I'll you just... will be easier. To be damaged. To be damaged. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to use two mana to do that. Nine. Nine. All right, so you... Uh, it kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> what you're able to do is you're able to pull her under some kind of accompanying element. Okay. She's no longer in full, uh, what's thrall. the word, adulation, mm -hmm. thrall, Adulate. thrall, I like that. Full thrall of the mantis. Okay. And now it has just sort of traces of your two minds connecting. So there's a path, a channel has been opened between the two of you, and you are able to bring her along with you. So she's not okay. as quite KC, but you can kind of see if there are semblances in her mind. You're able to get little flashes of what's going on in there and if you can pull her back from the brink. Okay. Casey. And she can speak. Casey, um, uh, do a, what is a basketball move? A jump a, shot? D a, a slam dunk. Yeah. Slam dunk your way over here. Okay. I, I, yeah, I, I can do that. Do you want me to, do you want me to drive down the lane? Yes, drive okay. down the lane. I'll drive, I'll drive down the lane. Oh, I think it's working. Oh, right. Really? Okay. And then, and then, just lay it off the glass. Yeah, I can lay it off. The lay glass. it off the glass. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Don't be scared. You're with friends. Oh, how's it going over there? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, everybody, do you want me to somehow be oh, of you? Oh yeah, Marcelo. <laughs> yeah, Marcelo. <laughs> Perhaps I could sit here reading all these books. I love the books. Or I could come with you. I don't know. Read uh, the books. Should we have him read a bunch of books? Yeah. yeah. Marcelo, why don't you look for books on crazy bug demon possession or on summoning hordes of bats? Oh, oh. yeah. Just it's, regular bats. Uh, yeah. It would be a pleasure of mine to find such a thing. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Now I have read many books on many bats, but never about such a thing. I would be so excited to discover. Right. And so he runs off like a child picking flowers. 
and just start picking him off the like shelf, and he's reading him. Who's dating? Like, who's, I don't know. I, I'm, who's tight? Still unclear. Yeah. Unclear. Yeah. As to who his boy, who's the boyfriend of? Yeah. yeah. I think he's kind of all you. <laughs> I'll take it. Fair. All right. I think that we can all agree to just share. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. By the end of the night, but perhaps the chat <laughs> will determine whose boyfriend he is. Okay. <laughs> yes. There will be two votes that we have to cast at the end of the night. One, ah. who will become the student body president? Mm-hmm. <laughs> will it be Amir or will it be Betty Pastures? Or will, and whose boyfriend will Marcelo end up being? Yeah. It's all fun and games. Sounds like it's sweet. All right. right. Yeah. So you're going to head to the music room. <laughs> yes. And the nurse's office. Mm. Yes. All right. Which one first? Uh, uh, nurse's, nurse's office. Nurse's office. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. All right, so you head down the hallway, mm-hmm. and just kind of going along the way, and you enter into the nurse's office. In the nurse's office, you open the door, and inside of it, as is not as you would wish, oh, no. the nurse is being bitten by a vampire. What? Oh no, not a vampire in Sunnydale of all places. <sighs> so you say, oh, excuse me, nurse, uh, nurse Jefferson, could you go? <laughs> She's actively being knocked on by a vampire being, yes, right now. Being. But she hasn't been turned yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, the the, the vampire looks up and goes, no! oh. oh. And then the nurse goes, hey kids, <sighs> maybe you'd like some blood drawn. <laughs> And then she vampires out, and so okay, now there are I'm two just, vampires before you. I'm just gonna go ahead and telekinetically yeah. try to open the blinds. Oh, okay. smart, that cool? smart, yeah. Sure. All right. Mm-hmm. The blinds? Yeah, that's a nine. A uh, nine, it like opens them a little bit. Okay. It makes them go, and they back away from the blinds. And also the sun is beginning to set. Oh no. That's right, daylight savings oh, no. time, everybody. Okay, I forgot. Uh, all right. Clock's back. It's approaching back. A, the amount of time that has passed is almost two hours time. So it was lunchtime, it's about, about 3.30 o'clock. Mm. Okay. Wow, After the school hours. so early so during early. this season. <laughs> I always forget. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I have two steaks. Yeah, I have one. I'm over it. I'm just gonna stake the vampire Either one, whichever one is most convenient in the heart. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's the nurse. The nurse, mm-hmm. gonna go for it. All right. All right. 11. 11. And I guess that's probably an athletics modifier. Mm-hmm. So 13. 13. All right, you've staked the vampire. All right, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> the nurse is gone. <laughs> Great. The nurse is gone, but there is still a single vampire left. Now he's sitting there on top of all the medicines. Oh, there's just a big, there's just a big refrigerator that says all the medicine on it, and the medicine <laughs> might be able to help you. Now, who has? Does anyone have steaks left? I have yeah. one. Yeah, I've got I one. Two. You each have one. Yeah, I and have. And you one have also. two. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm capable. Well, can I believe in yourself, Casey? Come on. I feel you're big feel, and strong. I'm like yeah. a weird indoor kid, and I just killed a vampire. I feel myself. Feel my power yeah, bubbling up. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stake him. I'm gonna jump and stake. Great. Seven. Seven. Plus your athletics. Yeah, that was including it. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> great wind up. <laughs> great wind up. And then the stake just sort of slips out of your hands, which are still covered in the in the translucent. Oh so god. Uh, All right, I'm jumping for it. I'm staking. Mm-hmm. That's a 16. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a 17. Uh, so you go up to the vampire, mm-hmm. and then you throw the stake in the air in a cool spin move. And then <laughs> you kind of like do the side kick of the stake and stake the vampire right there. It was very uh, ballet. The ballet lessons you took as a child sort of came back <laughs> to you in that moment. Great. And just <sighs> dead vampire, gone. Nurse's office. Clear, you start ransacking the place. Yes, yep. yep. All right, you start ransacking, looking for, now who is the most dead right now? You probably. Yeah. You, I'm you, dead. you're yeah, the most you're dead. Really I was close. Yeah. Two. All right, now describe One. your sim. Now who has, amongst you, has a CPR slash Young Nurse Association certification? I'm a junior lifeguard. Junior lifeguard? Mm-hmm. All right, she's a junior lifeguard. Now that, this is the person that you're going to need to get the information. Yeah, from I know more about mixing, like, herbs and mm. 
rare poisons more like killing than healing so much. Right. Yeah. So I mean, you need to get inside her mind mm -hmm. to discover how you can use these medicines to heal the crew. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna read your mind with anticipation. You have one mana. Uh, okay. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Rolls are brutal. Yeah. Two? Well, you're just gonna have to guess. <laughs> all right. All right. So you open up the fridge, and there's all these different vials and bottles and stuff. Yes. And then you're like, oh god, what are we gonna do? So then you check the like, oh okay, god, let's let's check the nurse's mm -hmm. personal stash to see if she left any notes, perhaps. And you're yeah. rifling through, and all of a sudden mm -hmm. you go, oh, but what's this? It's the nurse's personal cassette tape. Oh, my oh God. that's great. Yes, you take out your Crosby, Stills, and Nash. That's within it. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. yep. Perhaps you can use that. You can still heal yourselves first. Yeah. To the soothing sounds of two cats in the yard. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So inside of the medicine cabinet, mm -hmm. there are all kinds of vials. One is this sort of says a vitamin C injection, and one says penicillin. And one just says, sure, why not? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, penicillin is, I don't think we have any penicillin-esque needs. I just immediately go for the sure, why not? Okay. And I just, is it like a, is it like a droplet drink form situation? It, it, it looks like kind of a, like a beaker. Cool, cool. I'm just gonna like dose myself willy nilly. All right. You with dose like yourself, solid... you dose yourself with the sure, why not? <laughs> And then your magic witch energy combines with it. And the sure why not, which is actually, it doesn't say sure why not, it says sure we not. Ah. Uh. And sure we not <laughs> is actually a potion that is now fused inside of your dark witch form. And the four of you. <laughs> are all kind of bound together and there's these little green lights that connect <laughs> from eye to eye to eye to eye to eye. And then you all start speaking as one. And you say, We, we are, are the, the light, light in, in the, the dark, dark. The, the sun in, in the, the shadows, shadows, and the spark of the light. light. And then <laughs> you're all back to full health. Yay! All right. Oh, nice. All righty then. Great work, Luna. Thanks. Mm. Thank now, you so much for using your demon to Oh, of course. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> no offense to that demon, but let's kick some demon ass. Yeah. Yes. Do it, do it, do it. I'm do pocketing it. the vitamin C just in case. <laughs> You might as well. I mean, it can no, never hurt kind of you. Right? I don't know where to inject it, but I have a feeling In the it just works. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if it's anything like steroids. It sort of is. It's an antibiotic, so. so. Yeah. All right. We got the All tape right. player. Great, get it, get it. Woo, Go ready? back. We're gonna run back. Do yeah. Yep. <laughs> Right, you're back in there, and now Sweet, you're greeted instantly by Sweet. Yeah. And he's got his little sort of puppet men. Now, you don't need to necessarily fight them. You've got this giant thing right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Creatures abounding. Little Matt Acevedo running around, still on fire. <laughs> but at this point now, he's just sort of like a tiny little... He looks like a, um, like a fireball that you would use as a weapon. Perhaps you can use it. All right, guys, tell him, tell him what, what do we do, what do we do? Oh. Okay, so. Because you could like force push. Yeah. Flaming Matt Acevedo. <laughs> That's yeah. true. I was thinking of also possessing Matt Acevedo. Oh, and yeah. making him throw, like lurch his own body. Yeah. At whatever we want. That's a great mm -hmm. idea. We still got so, Clicky, right? Yeah, Clicky's clicky. still there. Oh. Clicky's still there. So while you guys there. are doing the tape cassette, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can do this thing. Cool. Cool. I roll a manila folder into a funnel to make it into sort of a speaker, a cool. rudimentary speaker. Cool. Yes. Thanks. Okay. All Excellent. right. Excellent. Good, 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 good. And we have the tape player. 
and I turn the volume all the way up to maximum. Great, right. right. good. But like just a little bit under, because we don't want to get feedback. Yeah. I, right I don't now. want the scratch. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna crack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do possession of Matt Acevedo. Good. Fourteen. Oh, oh. Fourteen. Yes. Okay, you possessed him. What's up, guys? Oh, awesome! Hey, man. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna launch myself over at the. Uh, which I launch myself at. Uh, I mean, I'm here for you guys. I'm here for a great team. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe click. Yeah. yeah. Let's get rid you, of click. Can you set click on fire, please? Oh, sit. Good All job, right. man. All right. See you guys later. Google Anderson. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So you go out. You go right at Clicky. Right at Clicky. All right. Clicky is no more. <laughs> Clicky no has worries. melted into Matt. Is Matt still on fire? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, made a quick observation just now. That sweet's henchmen are puppets. Oh, oh they're made of wood. Yeah. Oh, That's hey, smart. So. Yeah. Why don't you set them on fire? Yeah. Oh, great, great idea, dudes. But if awesome. you just kind of dance around them, they won't ever even oh, see it coming. I love dancing. Yeah. I love using my body. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Wow, Matt. It's <laughs> oh my gosh. There it is. is. Wow. wow. You're like the thanks, Macarena, man. buddy. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> all right. You guys all got talents too. <laughs> Thank oh. you. Thanks. You're such a nice person. Mm -hmm. Ouch. I'm burning. Oh, yeah. that's... Yeah, that's... The, I'm sure that'll yeah. subside eventually. We'll put yes. that out of You're a growing boy. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now, Matt, the, the, he has successfully killed these sweet things. But in that moment, his skin, it just sort of melts a little bit in this weird uh... way. And as it melts, it melts into this strange, furry, like... It kind of looks like a beard a little bit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh, no. And then his eyeballs kind of start falling out of his head and then just solidify in these strange little like circular sunglasses looking things. Uh -huh. And then out of his, his brains start to come out. And his brain is like, ew, gross, his brains. But then the brain turns into like a giant brain head, but it sort of looks like an afro. And he takes on a much darker persona. Someone that is buried inside of him, the Angelus to his angel, and there's one that is known as Jason. No. Jason! Oh, oh no. boy. Maybe mm -hmm. if we can take care of the Mantis, I can force push him into the hell mouth, assuming it closes. Yes. And we'll never see him ever again. Good yeah. idea. Yeah, there's a chance, yes. There's a, for long, he was thought buried deep into the darkest pit of Matt Acevedo's mind, but every now and then you just light the man on fire and there he is, you know? All right. We've all been to Comic-Con, I know what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay, so now you're back to the health. Is everybody, who, 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 who got magic's left? We're What's all back pens? to full health. All right, yeah. great. Um, uh, great, all right. you got the cassette player Okay, let's up. get this bat sonar yeah, operation on. going. All right. Right. Yeah. Who, 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 so I put the. Who took it, the tape? Who has the tape? I have the tape, and the tape player. He's made our makeshift speaker to right project here. it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so we're right. pressing play on the bat sounds. There it is. All right. And it goes. It says. Are you sure that's the right tape? <laughs> uh, uh, Maybe it was on the B side. I think uh, somebody was playing bat. a joke. Yeah, yeah. bat. Yeah. yeah. Not bat. Oh, it was the wrong side. Yeah, yeah wrong side of the tape. Sorry. So, so, oh my God. Yup, it's working. It's not good. It's not happy for everybody. The bat sonar is blasting yes. everywhere. All of the tiny little mantis spawns start screaming and shaking. They are brought down to their legs and knees, and she mantis herself back to the life. It's just. Squalling all about now. This is a very vulnerable she mantis. Yes. Now, what you must all do is focus your magics on her and send her back into this demonic hole mm. as you can. Use what you've left, put her to death. It is the time. The student body council is depending on you. All right, I'm Whiskey Stoning. Whiskey right, Stone. Okay. One. Yeah. I'm going to summon that Dark Phoenix again. Bring out the Dark Phoenix. <clears throat> Like, that was eight damage, by the way, from me. Eight damage done? Yeah. Yeah, Excellent. I'm going to take eight damage as well. All right. To use two mana points. Yeah, I'm down to 15. I'm down to eight. Down to eight. <laughs> this, does, right. this is a hard thing for me. Okay. 
Uh, six plus three is nine. Uh, four, so uh, 13 altogether. That sucked. 13 total? Yeah. All right, great. Mm. Okay. I mean, I guess I, I can't do my, I'm gonna die <laughs> if I do my overdrive. I'm gonna try and possess, can I do that? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and possess the mama mantis. <clears throat> and if it works, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna jump down into the hell mouth. I'll do it. Oh no! I'll do no. it. Betty! I'll do it. No, okay, no, if no. If you do it, I'll vote for you. Betty! No, I'll but do she'll it. Be, if well, you do it, I'll you also see? vote for you. I'll do it. Okay. Does nobody <laughs> see why this is a problem? <laughs> be be Betty? No. How about you just keep using Fire Matt to just throw him into the mantis? Use him to shove the mantis oh, into the hell mouth, maybe? Point. Uh, okay. Everyone. Oh my hey, God. Oh, really? did you find any books on the bats, buddy? <laughs> how was your uh, reading set? It was okay. Um, I did not find anything too helpful, but I did find this big box of machetes. Okay. 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 I thought maybe they would be good. Okay, so I grab two. I'm gonna grab two. Okay, yeah. So I each. also will grab two. Yeah, everybody grab yeah, two. Yeah, of course. Okay. I'm gonna launch myself at this at this uh, mama mantis and just hack and slash. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Okay. Do it. Twenty. Dang. Twenty. Plus I have, it's an athletic Dang. thing, right? So if I do twenty-three. Wow. Yeah. No. No. That's and then that's a critical hit. <laughs> <laughs> In that moment, you hop atop Mama Mantis. You land on her head, and I'm just like, and everyone just doesn't even really need to use their machetes because you're all just standing there like, yeah. and then. And then she just sort of splatters onto the remaining children, and she mantis has crushed her children, and she is dead. While this is happening, and everyone's staring at she mantis, I turn to sweet, and I just cut a little bit of a suit. <laughs> a little tear that's going to distract him. Hey. Don't you like my style? What's going on? Oh, oh my, oh my. It's eight. Eight? Yeah. All right, so you've like. My you, thought was that he would just go back because he yeah. wants to get a new suit. Yeah. yeah. You, you can send him back, but the only way you can send him back is with a very, very mm -hmm. dramatic, heartbreaking moment amongst all of you. Oh. Through song. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can't tell anyone what we did today. What it required of our friendship to beat this mantis, pray. But you think that the students of Sunnydale might appreciate our efforts. True. But they don't. No. They just hate the people that bring all these demons spawn upon them. It's so sad. Maybe it's about the journey. Maybe it's about what we went through. Maybe it's not the goal. Cause nobody cares. No, nobody cares but us. Nobody will know what we sacrificed. You tried to save me and killed me once. And then you saved me later. I don't know if we can even be friends in the halls tomorrow because the truth is nobody can know. But we have today. We have today. We have today. We have today. Out of the office. <laughs> what? Giles. Oh, what? you don't know your we have today. <laughs> tomorrow we can do it if we try and then Giles and the Buffy gang the Scooby gang has showed up hey! you have summoned them you have already killed the she mantis but now we must send everything back into the hell mouth he has it hey guys uh, how's it going um look I don't know if this is a good idea but I, 
all the kids were just kind of sitting out there, and they really wanted to see if they could cast their votes today. So uh, they're just outside. Xander, there's something serious going on here. We have to close the Hellmouth. If we don't close it right now, then everybody will get sucked in. Don't you really understand that? Look, guys, I've seen a lot of things in my time. And you know what I haven't seen, though? I haven't seen hell face me and look me in the eye to not be something that I can't just look right back and stab it in its eye. Because that's what I'm built for. And that's what, and then whoosh, whoosh, Buffy throws a machete uh, and, it, and it beheads Marcelo. No! 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 Everyone's like, what? And she doesn't really quite understand what's going what on. What do you have no, against hotties and vampires? He was all of our boyfriends. Boy Did you not see those cheekbones? Look, I've seen hot vampires, and that wasn't one of them. And she swings her machete and then throws it around this way. And then Matt, and then Jason, it just sort of oh, like Jason. cuts his head in half. I forgot about Jason. And then as it's and as his head falls apart, he's like, "Hey, you guys see Matt?" And then it falls <laughs> off. And then underneath that, Matt's face comes back, and Matt's like, "Hey, you guys!" <laughs> and he explodes as well. And then Sweet is slowly just sort of creeping out, like, "I feel like I should meet all these people, like maybe five seasons." Later. <laughs> <laughs> see you all in hell. <laughs> and Sweet disappears. And so now I believe that all of the demons have died, but now the great ritual. <laughs> Look, I don't know how you all knew about this. <laughs> but you're all in terrible danger. And, Buffy, it's not safe for civilians to be in here understanding and seeing all of these horrible things that we witness on a day to day. Now, they can't not all know you are the Slayer. So, we either must change their minds, we either must do some sort of white love child. The secret's gonna get out sooner or later. And these people, they clearly all have something special about them. So look guys, can you keep a secret? I'm asking you to keep a secret. Is it about Giles's digestive system? Yeah, because oh. he was in the bathroom for like a Wait, are you gonna time. tell us you're the player? Uh, did, did, no? Yeah, okay. sort of. Well, that we all uh, Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Kind of that. Okay. But Giles should go to a doctor. Yeah, yeah. that's like a huge problem. Look, it, it, it's just some, it's just a, it's a problem that I only experience every so often. You know, I had the Salisbury steak earlier today and it just oh. isn't meant to be processed by normal bodies. Some of the meat was demon babies. Yeah. <laughs> One time I was in the bathroom for an entire 12 hours. That and then I went to the doctor and the doctor said that I was making the whole thing up. Xander, nobody wants to hear about that anymore. Look though. It seemed like it was the appropriate time. To, it just wasn't the appropriate time to talk about it at all. Okay, we're not going to tell anyone. Yeah. No. We okay. sang a whole song about it. Yeah, yeah we're way no, it's past secret. that. Yeah. We're well aware that no one's ever going to mm. respect us for any of the good we have contributed to the well-being of the student body at this school. So yeah, we're good. Yeah. All right. Well, then there's only one thing that we can do, and that is to conduct the ritual that will close the Hellmouth here and now. All right, so everybody. Take hands. And now we must all recite a spell that is an ancient Karmaic Turk, which is a demon language. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you yep. ready for it? Got yes. it. Yep. Uh, so the Scooby Gang lines up, everybody does it. Giles is in the middle, like burning <laughs> some type of sage thing. All right. Karuthia Mendera. is closed and you have slain the children of Shemantis and Marcelo is nobody's boyfriend but we'll vote in the chat to see who he liked the most oh. and of course you guys have some if you'd like to give closing speeches as to who will be the student body president we should find out because we do have a few more students with willing votes right here right now well, and then you two first. can express who you want to give your vote to. Yes, final speech. I saw bravery today that I never expected to experience. I know how I'll be voting. 
Be on oh. my boat. <laughs> I came to Sunnydale friendless and with a huge secret. I didn't realize I'd meet people that I would die for, and I hope you guys would do the same for me. <laughs> and I hope that even if nobody knows what we're doing, we'll still know to come together and fight the next big thing. And I would love to be your student body president. Listen, the reality of the situation is our student body president is probably definitely going to get possessed by a demon, so we might as well elect one who already is. Room for two? <laughs> <laughs> Room for two. Um, this is a really hard choice because you guys are like my best friends now. And I didn't know what to do, and I looked inside myself, and then I remembered that time that I was almost dead and Betty, you killed me. Okay. So I'm voting for Mira. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's I, I understand that. Fair. Okay, yes. yeah. Yeah. That's how democracy works. Mistakes were made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Excellent. Maybe when you were juniors. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well. It seems as though there's no longer a vote to be had. But of course, there's the people out there, they all have to cast their votes as well. Right. But in our hearts, yes. you are the president. <gasps> and they all became <laughs> friends, and they all were happy and covered in blood, and nothing bad ever happened in Sunnydale ever again. Oh wait, no, many bad more things <laughs> happened in Sunnydale all the time. Oh. Well, I'm sure we'll deal with that in the future. <laughs> and that's the end of the story for now. Yay. It's over. <laughs> Thank you guys for doing that. Awesome. All right. I'm going to take these off and talk normal like. You ready? Hey, hey guys. Hey. What's up? <laughs> All right. The winner was oh. Betty. Hey. Marcelo <laughs> considered you his <laughs> Uh, amazing. Oh, nice. President and you would have a vampire boyfriend <laughs> if Buffy the Vampire Slayer hadn't just immediately mistaken <laughs> 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 a dead, dead boyfriend. Oh, With a machete that he found. <laughs> 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 Monica, hi everybody, oh, Jabberwocky, so. Mr. Owl. Great, guys, thanks yeah, for watching thank this, guys. awesome. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Great, this is a new thing that we're doing. We're figuring out if we can do it more recurrently. If you liked what you saw tonight, please let Hyper and Zach and Lucas and Matt and everybody here know that you enjoyed it. And we're still working out what this game even is. It's a new system that we built ourselves. We're trying out new things. Um, and let us know what you liked, what you would like to see more of, and we're excited for that. Matt, you want to come and uh, talk to the people with me for Yay! a bit? Yay! Oh, look, he's I, I got to get like, super tight in here because this <laughs> is like, you, you know, what's up, everybody? Uh, guys, thank you so much for being a part of this. Um, I, we got to thank you for all of your tips, for all your donations, for helping the, the uh, crew out. Um, let's just go through these tips really quick. We made a bunch of goals. Thank you guys so much. Uh, let's just go do it. <coughs> you want me to hold you put the mic in your face? I gotta get close to you just because the, like, we have, like, this much room. <laughs> uh, one second. Okay, cool. So, look together! Thank you guys once again. And let me start. Where are we at? There we are. All right. So, Val, uh, Val Viper, $40. We need more brooding for Luna. Two times two. Thank you. <laughs> Rune the Phoenix, $100. Wanted to spread these out, but in celebration of me becoming an aunt, congratulations for the first time. Aww. Your sister's in labor right now. Uh, she's going Whoa. to uh, Cold Stone for some music and ice cream. Hashtag Aww. Demon Sweet and Demon Sunday. Uh, nice. uh, the Vampire Pier, if an awesome musical it. number, love ya. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations. Yeah, That's congrats. incredible. Congrats. And congrats. I wonder if you intended it to be Sunday the Vampire from Buffy season for episode one was that i mean that's who i played yeah. it as played it but as, i yeah. wondered if that's what you meant yeah uh then chat donated fifty dollars Dem hashtag demon and it looks like uh just like green eye trombonus everybody run uh make all blaze on hashtag steak ten dollars thank you gaiaka uh twenty five dollars time for kc help that's right <laughs> uh earth ten dollars hashtag steak chat another fifty dollars another demon clicky 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 uh shows up uh, I think uh, that was an audio <laughs> joke. Uh, great. Uh, Jabberwocky, $20. Stake all the things. Also, you might want to call an exorcist for Betty. Uh, a concerned student 
Uh, Ten dollars. Amir was uh, was seen trying to buy votes in exchange for pudding. Oh. There's too much at stake. Hashtag stake oh. to let Amir buy his spot at the table. Mm. Uh, pa- paid for by the council to elect Betty. Oh. Nice. <laughs> oh. uh, Kiwi penguin. Fifty dollars. The puppy demon. Hashtag demon named Kaiju Baby is looking for <laughs> for some puppy treats. Anything is a puppy treat if you chew it long enough. That's true. <laughs> Kaiju's proven that. Chat fifty dollars. Another demon. He's kind of nice though. It's Matt from HyperRPG. <laughs> ah, that, was, that is just like Zack Nightmare fuel right there. That we saw tonight. That was great. Uh, Haywood twenty dollars. Hashtag steak. Let's get that hell mouth. Uh, Gaika fifty dollars. Help for Casey and Amir. Thank you so much. Urquag uh, twenty dollars. Hashtag steak. Cook the joke. Fifty dollars. Hi, it's me, the janitor. I may have like summoned a trickster demon by accident. I got a lot of work to do. So if you could get to that the closet and clean that thing out, that would be great. And then he died. Oh. <laughs> chat, two hundred dollars from chat. Four demons appear. There are a barbershop quartet, all named Zach, and challenge the students to a musical. Oh Great. <laughs> and then, well, last one, Bell Viper, hundred dollars. Everyone get moody after the high of singing. Luna, Casey, Amir, Betty. Thank you guys Yay. so much. It has been a blast. Wow. And I, I got. Wow. The, I actually I got the green light from Zach that we will we can do this we'll do this again next week if you guys are available if not yeah, totally yeah. cool but uh, yeah. we're gonna do this again we're gonna do another one next week. We got the green light. Awesome. Yes. Great. Great. Okay. <laughs> and kind of how I've been doing this is just kind of being like, Mm-mm-mm. I have this book. So Omar and I have a Buffy podcast, the Sunny Dose Study Group. Mm-hmm. And we use this book, The uh, Dusted, which is just kind of our compendium. So sometimes I just kind of flip through it and I'm like, do, do, do. Ooh, this is kind of a missing mythology moment. Let's do something with that. But if you have anything or any part in the entire series, seasons one through seven, that you would like, please let me know what you're interested in. Now, um, this is Hellmouthy. They are another Buffy podcast. Yeah. Now let's go down and have everybody introduce themselves one by one and let everybody know where they can find you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm Ryan Mogi. Um, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at R at R Mogi, M O R M O G G E. And I host a Buffy podcast with Kelly called Hellmouthy. Yay. Check it out <laughs> at Hellmouthy. Uh, I'm Kelly Nugent. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Kelly Nugi. Uh, find us on Hellmouthy uh, at Hellmouthy for both Instagram and Twitter. And I uh, co-host a, a YA pulp fiction discussion uh, podcast called Teen Creeps on the Feral Audio Network. And you can find it there. Awesome. <laughs> I'm Emma Fife. You guys know me. I'm here all the time. Uh, <laughs> come hang out with me. Play video games tomorrow starting at 3 o'clock. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, I'll be here Friday. Pencils and Parsecs. It's our super awesome Star Wars RPG. So you guys should come check that out. We also have a lot of fun. What am I playing tomorrow? I don't know what I'm playing tomorrow. <laughs> I was gonna to keep. I was gonna keep playing Dream Daddy if that was okay with you. I'm really enjoying it right now. I'm like really feeling the vampire dad. So you know, <laughs> like, not that far off. Not that far off from what was happening tonight. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> uh, I'm Omar. I uh, have the podcast with Chris Bramante, Sunnydale Study Group, and you can find me on Twitter at Omar Najam. And that's all my things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I, oh my god, I almost just like went right into like everything you the say on our up. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like I hear Omar introduce himself, and you can find anything Studydale Study Group related at SSG Podcast on Twitter, which you can check it out. Check out both our podcasts and check out Buffering the Vampire Slayer. They're another part of our like unofficial Buffy Podcast Alliance. <laughs> uh, and then I'm Chris Bramante. How's it going, everybody? You can find me on this channel on the Gauntlet every Thursday as a Montioc. Thank you for that. And then you can find me with Robot Teammate. Look us up if you're in New York. Robot Teammate is going to have our musical Turbulence Off-Broadway. So please, please come see it. And then Hamilton's, if you're in LA, Hamilton's is back and it's official with Hamilton. That's our Hamilton sing-along club that Omar, Matt, and I began here in LA. And if you're around, you can come this Sunday and sing Hamilton with us. All I'm right. I'm seeing Hamilton tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Awesome. Night after. Thursday. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Amazing. I'm Great. like pretty jazzed about it. That's amazing. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. I feel like my whole life is going to improve. <laughs> and guys, remember that Like, if you want, this guy, guys, this show happened because of you guys. Thank you so much. So go tell your friends. If you have Buffy friends, if you know groups of Buffy people, that, like, get them in here, dude. Tell them we're, we'll be here again next week, 8.30, same time. Uh, get on in. We want to get all the Buffy crew in here. Uh, and not just that, guys. Tomorrow, we'll be back with MLB streaming uh, Green Daddy at 3, followed by uh, Valiant Vanquish Returns at its new time at 7 p.m. Pacific time here on Hyper RPG Volume 4. After that cliffhanger uh, last week, I'm sure we are all dying to see 
what happens this week. Tune in, guys. And remember, the best way to support the channel is by subbing. So thank you so much for your support. Tell your friends. And thank you guys so much. And hope we'll see you soon. Bye. Hey. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.